trees. That's just a good shot showing trees on the bottom. You see all this in here? That's air and cavitation off your outboard. That's why a lot of guys will go over a school of fish and they turn around and they come back and that's where to go. That prop throws air and cavitation on those fish and they feel it and they move off. Now they're going to come back, but all you've done is spooked them off. Great shot right here. Now, now see here I'm shooting off one side of the boat. If I'm just going down an area and I don't care about the stuff in the deep water and I want to fish the saddle side, I just say I want to shoot off the left side or I want to shoot off the right side. And I also, I cut my scale down to 110 feet. Okay, all I'm doing is enhancing stuff or magnifying things up so I can see better detail. So set it at what you like. It, you can set it at any one foot increment. But you see a good, boy, see this is a good ditch coming in here. Here's another ditch coming in here. You can see the shadow where it's dropping off. All this little stuff here are stumps. See the shadow behind it? See the shadows? Those are little stumps. For some reason, there's not any. That's not a good shot showing any fish. But that's a good spot to, for two fish. That's on boo. Is that on boo? <laughs> <laughs> now, that slide I showed you at the beginning in 2D, there it is on side imaging. Now you can see the tree. You can see the shadow. You see there's some fish sitting in here. There's a fish up here. You see there's all your air and cavitation. There's a few fish out here. Side imaging draws you a picture. It's a lot easier to see. Yes, sir? I understand that you can look at a fish and tell how many feet he is from it. I can tell you how many feet from the center line of that boat. In other words, I've got a, there's a cursor on here. When I freeze this cursor, and run that cursor over to something, it tells me how far from the center of the boat to the fish. I've asked him to be able to tell me the distance. It also will tell you the distance back. As you keep moving along, there's an indicator that tells you a distance. It's how many feet you've gone. You'll be surprised how far you go from an object. Especially when you try to spin your boat and come back and you just know. When you start looking here, it's good. you go further. Every boat does different. It's like, it's like speed. Horsepower, weights of boat, lengths of boat, props. There's so much differences in it. But yet I'm working on something that I've asked them to be able to, if I cursor something and, and mark it, tell me from, from where it's at right to the fish. I mean, it's, let's see, I think that's called, uh, I don't know if that's geometry or trigonometry, but it's been too long since I've been to school. Yeah. Here? Yeah, I mean, when you're looking at that section on that fish, how wide is it? Can you adjust the width? Like if that tree's right there at that avenue tent, right. how far is the other sides from it? I mean, can you look at Oh, across here? Yeah, I mean, the whole width of that. Of that. If, you, if you ran your cursor to here, and now if you want to know how tall that tree was, if I ran my cursor to right there and looked at where it, how many feet, and I ran it down to here, tell me how tall, and do it again, and tell me how tall it was. I'm saying, I'm saying how wide is the section? Is that... It's a, it's a, it's, it it's, it's shooting 110 across. No, I'm talking about this way, the section. Top to bottom, how wide is that? Your boat, top to bottom here? Yeah. You can't, because I'd have to look at, at the feet telling you the distance. It tell me how many feet from the time that I mark something. As I go by it, everywhere this boat's at, it's constantly telling me the distance away from it. Okay. So you would, it, it'll vary. It's hard to, it's, I'll make a slide with one of them. I like that. People ask us to work in shallow water. It'll work 150 foot deep. And for, so far for every bass fisherman I talked to, that was plenty. Now saltwater guys, the shelf don't even start out there to that much. I said, I ain't got that much string on my pole. Here's two grass beds. And I'm going to drive the boat right at that water tower. Okay. When I do, there's the two grass beds in 1.2 foot of water. Yes, it works in shallow water. These boys on gunners will just, they love it because they're going down there and finding all the grass. Here's another shot of some grass. There's some beds. You see a little slot in here? If there was a fish, that's where you should be, right in that little cut. That's where you'd flip. Here's it shooting off the left side. When it gets to the grass, it just blacks out. That's almost like what the bank would look like. 
Here's a good shot showing all kinds of bottom contours. You see there's a ditch, I mean a, like a bluff here. Here's your trees. Here's another ditch. You can see this is higher up and it slopes off and then it drops really good, hard off the back. It's almost like it comes up, goes across and drops off because that turned black. That's some good contours. All right, we're going to talk about down imaging too. If you had a side imaging unit, you got down imaging. If you haven't updated your unit, if anybody brought the unit, I can update it. Uh, or you can go online and update it. Uh, down imaging is another view off of your side imaging transducer. That's all it is. We've got a lot of people wanting this that don't want side imaging, just want down imaging. And i got some units I'll show you right here at the end that we're coming out with right now for the people that want down imaging. But here is your side imaging, okay? Here's your down imaging, all right? Right here is the bottom, which is right there. And right here is the fish, which is right there. So you got two different views. This will show you how far up off the bottom it was. It's hard to see over here. There's a good shot with a down imaging on a tree. All that's air and cavitation. Fish, 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 another tree. Now it shows you a spot like on a road bed, okay? You see this? I know that this came up because it got brighter and it got narrow. When, it, when this water column gets narrow, shallow water. As you go deeper, it widens out. You see where it was like here coming across? Then it got narrow at the top and then it widened out again. But now I've got another shot. I've got another view of this is right here. There's a road bed on top. There's a shot on down image of that swimming pool that we showed you. Looks a lot better on side imaging than it does down imaging. There's a, there's a tree just laying, just broke off right here, laying down here. Bait. Just, you can just see the stuff laying across the bottom. That's how a lot of guys go back and look at their brush piles and tell me how big the brush pile is and a year later they go, it ain't as tall as it was. It's done, part of it's done collapsed down. Shows a little, little drop right there, looks like coming down to drop off right there and shows you trees. There's a good shot right there showing you a tr tree that's broke off and laid down. Now there's your shot there showing you 2D and your down imaging. Our units that we're coming out with, we got five new units coming out. We'll have the 2D and the down image in it. I've been told that Lawrence only has down imaging. They're not going to have the 2D. Uh, I I understand that, but don't take no more to put it in there. This way you can have either or, you can split the screen. This is how you're going to start understanding more about your 2D. You just got a different view. That shows you, uh, we have, we're going to have a monochrome or a black and white unit too that's in down imaging. Most everybody's going to color, but we still have some people that want a price point, so we're going to make a unit that's, that's a monochrome or a black and white. There's a good down imaging shot. I tell everybody, down imaging or side imaging, if you go to a bridge and go under through that bridge, what you see above, you, once you see it underneath there, it'll just click that you're seeing that picture. I told somebody it's like you're flying in on an airplane and you look out, and see what's down there, that's what you're seeing on, on your side imaging. You're just getting a, a picture looking down on something. That's a down imaging shot of a, that underwater dam when I told you at the back of Lee Fala. All that up there is bait, and that's just, a, that's just a back shot. We've added some colors in there, which you're seeing some of the, our colors that show up instead of the blue. This shows up real good in bright light. The blue kept blending out with the sunlight. Now, we've got on your units with your side image, you've got a screen that's got three views, okay? We've got your side, side imaging, your down imaging, and your 2D, okay? So now you've got three pictures. Somewhere, it'll all just you'll be looking at it, all of a sudden you're going to understand what it is. It just shows you a picture's worth a thousand words. You see more in a picture than you do in this right here. These, you're going to see more. There's a shot right there, another shot of a brush pile. 
Again, we changed a few colors to show you what, this is all you would have seen on your 2D. You see, well, here you can see the brush, and then here you see the brush too. There's another of a, uh, an old uh, concrete bridge pier. But notice here now, it's hard to see some stuff in here and here, but it looks like a little water bait sitting right out off there that I couldn't see in these other pictures. <coughs> so running them all the screens at the same time or two at the same time helps because you see more. That's a great shot right there. That, uh, a boy sent me that from Altoona. A lot of people say ours, you know, we, when it first came out, a lot of people were saying that ours wasn't marking as good as Lawrence. The big difference from Lawrence and us is when they come from the factory, they have no filter system on their unit. Their unit's wide open. That's why you see a lot of grainier uh, stuff in theirs, and, and it makes some air, stuff in the water look bigger than what it is. Ours comes with a filter. What you see is there, but you've got to play with it. What we did was put something in our unit called switch fire. You've got a clear mode and a max mode. Clear mode is ours when it comes with the filter, and it comes with our color. I've had so many complaints from guys was out there that I take out, and they said, I didn't know yours to do that. Well, I can put Lawrence's colors in mine, and I can put their settings in mine by the touch of hitting a button. Well, we've been pretty successful because Lawrence now has put our settings in theirs. So it's what you get used to. If you get used to their colors, I can put Lawrence's colors right in there. If you get used to their settings, hit switch fire max mode, exactly. So you're not losing anything. A lot of guys said, you just don't mark as good. I, I got news for you. I Bring them on. I'll go out there with them day in and day out. Hey, the sensitivity is what it's all about. I was doing it before we put it in the unit by cranking some stuff up. All you got to do is now is hit one button for switch fire or change the color. Well, I mean, when, when you look at that down image and go, go back to that one I just said, if, if, if you were looking at the down image and right there, if there was a fish right there, why can't you see that fish? It looks like a fish. Because there ain't no fish there. I want a slide that's got the fish in it. If, fish there, would it, look like a fish? it will look like a line. You know what I showed? Oh, look here. Here you go. Wait a minute. All right. Here you go. Side imaging. All them are fish. Them are hybrids. Okay. Right there is your down imaging, and right there is your regular 2D. Now, you see where these try to hook and elongate out more? Look at the different angles of these fish. Up, up, down, level. Because I'm shooting at it. If I had a flashlight, and I look at something like this, that's what side imaging does. Okay. okay. I'm shooting straight out at it. Here, I'm shooting down on a cone, so they're going to hook an arch. These are going to look just like you're looking at them. If he's like this, like this, like that. Okay, so, so it's really not a camera then? No, it's not a camera. Okay. I mean, it's shooting out a sound wave or a signal. Okay. And what it does is, it's a microprocessor in them. Okay. And they... And they they write this back as what you're going to see. It's because you're looking straight at it. This is a this is a, a good, good slide. Matter of fact, this is on Altoona. And the last week of April, I'm going to be there. <laughs> right there on that, where that spot is, I'm going to be there. But uh, that's a great shot of fish. I mean, that is a bunch of fish. They're not y'all species of fish, but there's much fish. There's another shot. This is another deal here. Here's your down imaging. Right here's your regular 2D. You see how these hook and arch? And these don't? But look here. See, there's some even vertical. They would move, they'd move up. So you just got to realize they're going to look... All the side imaging down is going to look like a line. It's just a different view, and, and it's getting a lot more popular. Transducer installation. This is the key deal when you get side imaging. Okay? Here's a typical installation of a boat. I've got to get that transducer below the, that jack plate. You've got to see both sides of the transducer. If you do not see both sides of the transducer, you might shoot off one side and don't shoot off the other side. Most time, if you're shooting off the right side and it's mounted here, I tell you, trim your motor out. You trim your motor out, sometimes that motor might be right there, trim it out, oh yeah, it's working now. 